Jorarawa to Etefano, no mai ki te uru o Tamaki Makoto. Yes, Kaputai Rafati has come to West Auckland. He hai tai mai ai mato o tira tato katoa. Ko tai ana ki te faka utu nga matatoa o matatoa. Welcome to the show. Hey, uh, so we're back here at Matatua. You're not a new face here at this competition, though. You did compete last year. How was it last year? Oh, it was so much fun. It was cool to see something that was Kopapa Māori being incorporated into the CrossFit world. So, um, yeah, really cool to be back again. Yeah, and that's the interesting thing about Matatua. Kuera i rerekea ai ne. So you're hearing the real spoken in the building, and even if you're not a fluent speaker, yeah. you can still understand and, and get the vibe, eh? Yeah, definitely. And it's just cool to see like all the workouts are written up in Māori. So. Yeah, it's it's good good change. Good yep. to see something like that coming into the sport. And what are your words of advice? Yaho kupu aki aki kite hunga e fakaroana. Those that are maybe contemplating giving matatua a go. I'd say with any comp at all, but especially with matatua, just give it a go. Um, you don't have to be an athlete to jump in and do it. Um, it's just worth jumping in and doing something new. Hey Jazz, so I understand this is the first time you and your husband have competed at an event. How are you feeling? Nervous because I mean he's my husband and his expectations are quite high in this sport. But I'm um, doing my best to kind of match him. But um, no matter what, he's always there to support me anyway. So, so Tonga, how's she been doing in the lead up to this Matatua competition? Uh, our training's been really good. So really, it was just the handstand walk, which is over and done with now, which we were she was working on and didn't quite get it. So, but other than that, everything else should be a breeze leading into the rest of the day. It's interesting that she, you say that she didn't quite get it because I've seen you get it at the gym. Yeah. But this is what um, happens at, a, at an event like this. Say eh? it's all on the day. Yeah, it's, all, it's different. It's um, the hype on the from like the support and stuff from the crowd, and I mean taking away the pressure too definitely helps. So when I got on the floor, I was just like, nah, just treat it like a work workout at home and um, pretend like I've got my crew there, like David and all them, and you guys. So. Nah, just made it super fun and took away the pressure for me. How was your first wad, Jade? We just saw you giving, giving it your all. It was terrible, but <laughs> um, my first comp, um, I'm glad I got to do it with Brayden. Uh, the legs built up with lactic acid, but yeah, we got there in the end. Yeah, yeah I think we got fourth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kapai. Right. Um, Brayden, uh, what was the practicing like leading up to this particular event? Yeah, I wasn't ready for the rowing, eh? Um, the 600 metre definitely blew out the lungs. Um, but yeah, like Jade said, we got there in the end, which is, which is awesome. Um, first time being at a comp, so yeah, proud.